والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم we're going to get a very similar question sheikh and i think one of the brothers had a very similar question um, he says very clearly can we perform hajj unofficially uh, without telling the government or do we have to inform, inform them that we're going to perform Hajj? And this is, you're talking about the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, of course, where they have limits. For there are two things related to this question. Mm-hmm. Number one, is it haram to go to perform Umrah or Hajj without getting the proper permit? Mm-hmm. And the second, what if I do it, will my Hajj be accepted? Mm-hmm. The first part is, yes, going to perform Hajj without getting the proper mer- permit. Imagine that there are, for instance, 3-4 million employees in Saudi Arabia. If just a quarter of them receive their family members and they want to perform Hajj, so we have several hundred thousand people, in addition to those who already have the permit. We already know that the the space is very small and it can accommodate just a a limited number of people. Mm-hmm. You know, when we have two million people, it's already crowded. Imagine if it is three and four. And that yeah. happens sometimes mm-hmm. when people, they know that the day of Arafah would coincide on Friday, people will just go crazy and everybody will uh, flood the streets of Mecca with a permit or without a permit. So what happens, it's so crowded and sometimes it causes disasters because people start mm-hmm. sleeping on one another. So this process, the organization process is to keep peace, is to allow people to perform had properly without getting offended, just to allow means transportation, means of accommodation and so forth. So this process is not to prohibit nor to prevent people from performing hajj. No, rather it is just to organize this process. In addition to lying in fabricating permits or using the permit of somebody else and claiming that this is you, not him, that's a lot. But what if you do hajj with that? Will Hajj be accepted? Hajj will be accepted if the Hajj itself was done properly and you avoided فَلَا رَفَثَ وَلَا فُسُوقَ وَلَا جِدَالَ فِي الْحَجْ This answer is just for the sake of the truth. So that's why I stated there are two things. One which is related to lying concerning having a permit while you don't or sneaking around. And many people, they wear the ihram and they go at the checkpoint and they return them. Now they owe a kafara, they owe a fidya for not fulfilling or completing the, the ceremonies or the rites of the hajj and the umrah. Mm-hmm. And they're broken hearted because they uh, could not go uh, to perform the hajj and umrah. There is no blame on the authorities who stop them since they don't have the permit. So it is best if you try your utmost to get the permit. And especially for those who have done hajj once, then it becomes even uh, much more mandatory upon them to get the permit. It, it, it may be easier for those who have not performed Hajj at all because this is Hajjatul Islam for them. But imagine people who uh, like to go for Hajj every year without permit. They just sneak around and hit the mountain roads. I ask them, please, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you for your intention if you try to get the permit and uh, let the organization process work properly.